And game five is underway with Connor Brown into the fourth check. At two, Los Torinan went down. Brown has it. Centers one. And a shot right on by Matthias Janmark. And the Panthers have made just one lineup change. Ryan Lomberg is in. Shot from up high on net and kicked out by Bobrovsky. It's played by Rodriguez back to Forsling. Evan Rodriguez, that caromed off a skate, came to the near corner. Now Barkov out in front. And a sprawling save made by Skinner on Aaron Ekblad. For Hagee, he's got to go left to right, or right to left rather. He gets that glove out. Florida one for 13 on the power play in the Stanley Cup final and one for the last 17 overall. Good stick up high by Brown, shorthanded and alone. Connor Brown scores for the second game in a row. Edmonton opens the scoring with a shorthanded goal. He had a miserable year for 50 games, did not score for the Edmonton Oilers. He got dropped onto the fourth line and where he's really found his home is here on the penalty kill. Once a 20 goal scorer in Ottawa, three games in a row, he's been the most. Hyman for Dreisaitl. Like so many power plays in this series for Edmonton, plenty of chances, they can't get one in. Nugent Hopkins stopped from close range. Five seconds on the make of the penalty. Bouchard scores! A power play goal! And a 2-0 Edmonton lead. Can really shoot the puck. The Oilers have chances and they retrieve it. The key to any power play is the retrieval of the puck because it gives you a second, a third chance. Bobrovsky's got to look away from the shot. This is Zach Hyman's goal. This shot from Bouchard is going wide. It hits Hyman in the right leg. Skinner stops the flip from the point by Forsling. He's trying to get back with Fogle. One-handed the puck toward the corner. Fogle picked it up. Here's McDavid. Bottom of the circle. He scores! Edmonton leads 3 to nothing. A tough angle shot by McDavid. And it got through Bobrovsky. This play's going to start with Warren Fogle's race down the ice. Forsling gets to the puck first, but Fogle stays with it. Leaves it for McDavid. And I'm not really sure what Bobrovsky thinks he's looking at here, but Bobrovsky gets his butt back in the net. Look how flat he gets. This Knobloch talks about moving the puck quickly, moving their feet quickly. They have a number of players on this Edmonton team who can be one-man breakouts. Here's Kachuk! And he scores! Matthew Kachuk! And it's 3-1! to one. Previous 15 for Matthew Kachuk. An oiler turnover inside the blue line. Dylan Holloway tries to pass that puck out of the zone. He's in a position where you just got to bury it. Get it out of the zone. He turns it over and Kachuk's behind everyone. This delivery of the puck. Here's Kachuk again. In his second year with Florida. He's been a terrific playoff performer. Edmund Larson had it carry him off Skinner and wind up in the corner. Here's Reinhardt with five shorthanded goals in the regular season, which was second in the league. Hyman the other way, off the turnover, center ice. He got a shot on from in close. Stopped by Bobrovsky. McDavid still out there with 18. And now 13 as he establishes the zone. Nifty move through a double team. And Perry scores. What a play by McDavid. And Corey Perry makes it 4-1. to one. Another power play goal for Edmonton. Perry, you go. Watch Nurse at the bottom of your screen. He won't go. Now he starts yelling to Perry. You go. You go. Perry jumps on the ice here. If Nurse goes on the ice, this goal can't happen. Corey Perry scores. It's Darnell Nurse's call. And the Oilers are up by three again. This is a brilliant play by McDavid in the midst of it all. Connor McDavid starting to take over this series. Corey Perry.
His 54th career playoff goal. Back comes Florida. Montour. Rebound. They score. Knocked in by Evan Rodriguez. This is that Bennett Kachuk Rodriguez like. Just outworked in the corner while Ryan and Grover. Rodriguez stays with it. A 2 1 2 in the corner leads to Rodriguez. Oh, this bounces in off of Darnell Nurse's left glove as Rodriguez is battling for position. Watch him just cue this. It hits Nurse in the glove. Kachuk with a little time and space. Wraparound try, and Skinner held the post after Kachuk got away from there. Centering pass and a couple of chances for Tarasenko. Forsling shoots one over the net. Outstanding pressure. Kachuk and Nurse are in this battle. Kachuk controlling the puck behind the net. Tarasenko, two chances. Ekman Larson sends it in behind. Off the back wall to Kachuk. And then he got knocked down by Adam Henrique. They can't clear it. Kachuk's alone. Bennett trying to get position out in front. Ekman Larson scores! Oliver Ekman Larson! It's a one goal! The Oilers will not get the puck out of the zone, but Kachuk starts this with a good read. Here's the clearing attempt. It's soft, and it doesn't get out of the zone by Adam Henrique. So now Ekman Larson gets the wander in free, and he hammers this. This is right over the elbow. Oliver Ekman Larson from Matthew Kachuk. And it's 4-3. Hey, Kachuk has come alive, silent for four games. So it's four on four, and here comes Kulak, the defenseman. Has Nugent Hopkins in a big stop by Bobrovsky. Only one chance, and it's Brett Kulak who skates away from Reinhardt, away from Barkov, and makes a really great pass to Ryan Nugent Hopkins. He reaches around Mikola and lays this out. Nugent Hopkins loves to shoot low blocker. Bobrovsky's Rodriguez stops, has Bennett and Kachuk out in front. Ops for the point man, Ekman Larson. Sends it toward the net. Free puck. Backhanded wide by Kachuk from his knees. Ekholm couldn't advance it. It was stopped by Barkov. Now Nugent Hopkins rolls it ahead. Race for the puck. Pump toward the net off the post. Matthias Janmark almost gave Edmonton a two-goal lead and hit the goal post. I'm looking over in the Oiler bench. They're all looking up at the screen. They can't believe that this puck doesn't hit the post and go their way or that Yanmark could get a second touch. Dead center on the post. And his stick goes over top of the loose one. In under 30 seconds to go. Played out again toward the empty net. This one's on target. And it's swept away by Kachuk at the last moment. But McDavid scores. Connor McDavid with 17.3 to go. Sends this series back to Alberta. They will indeed drag the Cats back to Edmonton for a game six. What an incredible play by Kachuk. That place will be unglued. It's already as raucous as environment as you'll find. Well, Connor McDavid and his mates have been talking about it throughout.